Let us all rise for the invocation in the singing of the Philippine National Anthem, La Union Hymn, in the city of San Fernando, La Union Hymn. Mga kababayan, ang pangbansang awit ng Pilipinas.
city of San Fernando Onward together we go Agay-ayat ka na kay Ami Hindi wishalas you for this and professional The city employs us To get loving residents working together Caring, sharing as we force ahead San Fernando For Warrior City of San Fernando Of the new millennium We go for Warrior City Of San Fernando On Warrior City of San Fernando On Warrior City of San Fernando On Warrior City of San Fernando You may now take your seats. Hello everyone, good afternoon, and welcome to the uh, press presentation and initial public appearance of our 19 lovely candidates for the Miss City of San Fernando 2020. Let's give ourselves a round of applause, please. At this juncture, here to inspire us with her message, let us welcome our City Vice Mayor, Honorable Maria Rosario Euphrosina Cherry P. Nise. Thank you, Austin, for the very uh, energetic and enthusiastic opening of the program and introduction of Daitoy Nab na anak kan kabsat yo umo na unay apo palubusan dak ka mangkablaaw ikkan tayo tinabara apo nga tiptipat kan nabara nga panangarakop iti mayor tayo ditoy siyudad ti San Fernando Mayor Alfredo Pablo R Ortega Kasamat apo nakkayat nga kablaawan iti patpatge nga kakuyugak AJ City Council umo na unay adad toy ni Councilor Lucia Esperanza Luzan Valero. Candidate number 20. Apo nga, agpapili akas may sanga kandidata for Miss San Fernando. At at tuimot, apo ni Councilor Mark Anthony Maki Dukusin of the SK. Candidate number 21. At at tuimot, Apo, iti young guest, counselor, entire the province of La Union, Dr. Quintin Balsita Jr. Sumarunom at Apo, iti nagbalin iding a representative of the Association of Barangay Captains, now a regular member of the Sangonyang Paglungsod, the Honorable Ramon Monetsky Ortega. And finally, in attendance, Councilor John Oroz. Apart from the members of the City Council, po in Nakmat Kablaawan, iti aming nga department heads present with us this afternoon. Naimbag nga oras, Apo. Kastamot, Apo, nga in Nakablaawan, titumunggal may sa kada kayo, our beloved sponsors who uh, shared their resources, shared their blessings with the city of San Fernando in order for our dream to have a city fiesta for the year 2020, meaningful, memorable, and fruitful. Adda kayo, Apo, supporting us all the way. And we cannot thank you, Apo, dahi tati utang na yung baganakam nga bye-bye dan mi, Apo, babaan itinasaya at nga serbisyo. Kan Apo, mamati kayo nga nasudi, kan nalinis ti puso mi ni Apo Alf, nga mga rakop, iti syudad tayo kan mang sirbi, iti tunggal may sa nga kasyudadan mi. Thank you very much Apo for sharing your time, your energy, and your resources with us in order for us to fulfill 
City Foundation Anniversary 20, 22nd for the March, on March 20, 2020. It is a memorable year and thank you for sharing it with us. I see some captains here also na imbag nga oras tayo to our dear 19 candidates, their parents, their families who sent them here, their handlers who are going through the uh, tiring phase of uh, the preparations, the pictorials, the practices, and everything that comes with the, you know, the excitement of holding a pageant to the organizers, to the members of the media, all our beloved city mates in the city of San Fernando, na imbag nga oras tay amin apo. Uh, just a short message. The City Fiesta theme for this year is very reminiscent reminiscent of the past glory days of the city of San Fernando, wherein you and I made a claim, made a stake, that together we will make San Fernando clean, beautiful, and peaceful. Together, ay ayatan tayo apo, itisyudad tayo nga San Fernando, tano apo, haan nga tanuhan this is a call, this is a pleading, this is a pakiusap sa ating lahat that together let us make this work. Together with your support, ayatan tayo iti syudad tayo, ayatan tayo iti opisyalis tayo, ayatan tayo apo, titumunggal may sa kada tayo amin nga kasyudadan tayo, tanu apo, mapapintas tayo, mapaduras tayo iti syudad tayo nga San Fernando. There are many plans laid out that will be laid out by our Honorable City Mayor. And I hope, Apo, that we have you as our supporters, as our sponsors, cheering us on and helping us achieve greater heights for our city. It is undeniable that we stand on the shoulders of giants. Several people held the post that we are now holding and have made their own contributions, their own stake in making San Fernando what it is today. So now that we are here, now that we are given a chance to also show each one of you what we are capable of, we are ready. We are ready for the challenge because in San Fernando, you matter. In San Fernando, you are the priority in our lives because at the end of the day, service to humanity remains, remains to be the best work of life. And in San Fernando, I, I attend the kayo. Just yag, gina kada kayo amin apo na imbag na oras tayo. Thank you very much, our City Vice Mayor Cherry Nise. Um, before we uh, continue, let us also uh, say hello and say good afternoon to our team Bahay who are watching online on our Facebook Live. Um, hello and good afternoon. So, yung mga hindi po natin uh, na-accommodate here sa ating venue, don't worry because you're not missing out on anything because you can stream live on our Facebook page. And for you to interact with us, don't forget to comment and use the official hashtag of this year's City Fiesta, hashtag San Fernando Ay Ayatenka. And now, ladies and gentlemen, to give his inspirational message and to introduce this year's City Foundation Anniversary official theme, let's give a warm round of applause to our City Mayor, Honorable Alfredo Pablo R. Ortega. Hello. Thank you, Austin, for that uh, warm introduction. Amin nga nakablaawan tatay, todos los santo down the line, na imbag nga malam tay amin, gagayam kang kakabsat. Dapat nakaisim tay amin ta, fiesta mood tayon, agrogiti fiesta tayon um, from this day and till March 31, I think, ang ating fiesta activities. So magandang magandang hapon sa ating lahat and thank you po sa mga sponsors natin na nandito. And special mention, of course, to our city family who is here, our department heads, to the Sangunian Panlungsod, headed by our very active and hardworking and beautiful Vice Mayor Tayo, Honorable Charinise. Tipatan tayo mo ng apo, digiti members ni Sangunian Panlungsod. 
Adama ditoy um, na mention mo tatay di giti barangay officials tayo nga datoy um, sa pasapan apo uh, good afternoon to each and everyone also a big uh, part for our fiesta preparations is our peace and order Adama ditoy jay COP tayo ni Colonel uh, Percy Pineda gandang hapon po sir so uh, let me just read my message I remember 22 years ago, back in 1998, siguro 8 years old, dakpay lang edi, or 5 years old. Edi 1998, when my father Manuling was the mayor, the original Agay Ayat Kadakayo Amin. It was the year San Fernando became a city, and I witnessed how my dad has dedicated his time to making San Fernando which is his birthplace and hometown, a peaceful, clean, and beautiful city. And over the years, I saw how our previous leaders, as mentioned a while ago by Honorable Chari Nise, worked tirelessly to create a home where the future generations can enjoy living in. Nagpapasalamat po tayo sa mga previous leaders natin Kung hindi po dahil sa kanila at sa kanilang dedikasyon, hindi po magiging maganda ang ating San Fernando ngayon. Tipatan tayo matisuda, gagayan ken kakabsat, our previous leaders in our beloved city. Now, we are celebrating 22 years of God's goodness to our city. We thank our God Almighty for all the blessings that our city has received. We would also like to thank each and everyone sa inyong walang sawang suporta sa mga programa ng city government. It is because of you that for San Fernando is the city that it is now. Nang nangruna po na kayo nga tataadata jay balayo aga buibuya via live stream. Magandang hapon din po sa inyong lahat at maraming salamat po sa suporta nyo at kooperasyon para sa ating beloved city. On our 22nd anniversary celebration, binigay natin ang mga aktibidad na mahal ng tao kasama na dyan ang paglipat ng oras ng Grand People's Parade sa umaga. Kasi marami pong nag-comment noon na gusto nila ibalik po sa umaga ang ating Grand People's Parade. At ang most requested na baratilyo na magbubukas na po, bukas na rin. Mag-uumpisa na pong ating baratilyo bukas kasi marami rin pong comments na nagtatanong bakit wala po pong baratilyo. E in line with our fiesta activities and in the spirit of fiesta naman, kaya po natin ibabalik na nga po at dahil nakikinig po tayo sa inyo, babalik po natin ang mga baratilyo. At dahil 22nd anniversary po natin ngayong 2020, I-extend pa po natin ang activities natin hanggang Hunyo. Kaya po kung mapapansin nyo ang mga aktibidad gaya ng Fiesta Tibaybay kung saan po yung Bangkaton Race po natin at ang Agritourism and Community Fair ay nailagay na natin sa Mayo. Nailagay na natin sa Mayo bilang pagsuporta sa Bulan, Timanalon, Ken, Mangalap. Kasama ng paghahanda para sa mga aktibidad na makapagbibigay ng saya sa inyo ay sinigurado natin ang kaligtasan ng bawat isa laban sa COVID-19. Magtatalaga tayo ng mga triage areas sa bawat event kung saan may mga health workers tayo para i-monitor ang bawat taong papasok sa event area. We made sure that the health, safety, and security of our citizens is at the top of our priority. Our theme for this year's foundation anniversary is San Fernando ay ayatenka. Malapit po ang temang ito sa aking puso. Malapit po sa aking puso ang tema na to. Kasi rin, kasi ito rin ang dahilan kung bakit tayo nagtatrabaho para sa syudad ngayon. Dahil mahal natin ang San Fernando. Gusto ko pong ibahagi sa inyo ngayon kung paano nabuo ang San Fernando ay ayaten ka. Kaya sama-sama po nating panoorin po yung video na to. 
San Fernando. Ay, ay, atin ka. Ay, ay, atin ka. Hindi lang dahil sa iyo ang king ganda. Ay, ay, atin ka. Hindi lang dahil sa iyong ang king talino. Ay, ay, atin ka. Hindi lang dahil sa iyong ang king talento. Ay, ay, atin ka. Hindi lang dahil sa iyong ang king sigla. San Fernando? Ay, ay, atin ka. Dahil sa iyo, patuloy akong nangangarap. Thank you. Let's give a round of applause to our IDS section from our KM uh, department headed by uh, Ms. Jeremy Diang. So, uh, San Fernando, Ay Ayaten Ka is not only our theme for our 22nd City Foundation Anniversary Celebration, but also our call to action. I call out to each of you who love our city, let us work together to make San Fernando the city that our forefathers, our previous leaders, and our children dream of. I call out to each of you, let us trust and work together for us to achieve the vision of becoming a people city. Let us continue to create a city that is peaceful, clean, and beautiful. I know that it is only through working together that we will be able to achieve greater heights for our city. With our efforts, we can proudly say, San Fernando, Ay, ayaten ka. Happy 22nd City Foundation Anniversary. Datoy kabsat kenanakyo, gayemyo, katropayo, Alf Ortega, agay ayat met, kadakayo amin. Josuna itiagina. Thank you. Thank you very much, Honorable City Mayor and Katropa, Alf Ortega. Once again, we say hello and we greet yung mga team bahay natin uh, na nanonood sa ating Facebook Live. Don't forget to use our official hashtag for the City Fiesta, hashtag Ayayatenka. And indeed, March is an exciting time for our city of San Fernando as we expect fun-filled activities for everyone. Sabi nga ni uh, Mayor Alf Canina on March 7 is the opening of the Baratilio and the Friendship Cup. On March 8, we have the acrobatic and magic show perfect for our kids and uh, every members of our family. On March 20, 7 a.m. is the Grand People's Parade. And of course, alongside our City Foundation anniversary, we also celebrate on the month of March the courage and strength of women. This March, we pay tribute to the women who inspired us to pursue our dreams to dedication and hard work, and to those women who taught us the virtue of love and compassion. With this, are you excited? We proudly present to you the confidently beautiful candidates of Miss City of San Fernando 2020. Let's give everyone a round of applause, please.
Ladies and gentlemen, the 19 confidently beautiful candidates of Miss City of San Fernando 2020. Again, let's give our ladies a round of applause. Madrid Construction. Good afternoon to everyone. My name is Laura Duculan Alves, 18, sponsored by JP Mac Construction Builders. Mendaza 18 is sponsored by Max's Restaurant. Angel A. Jai Posadas Hidalgo 20 is sponsored by La Union JG Transport Services. Caroline C.K. Acosta, 22, sponsored by JGR Construction. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Angela Marie Sanel Gonzalez, 20, sponsored by Avenue Commercial. Angelica Lubiano, 20, sponsored by 2PM Partners Trading Company. Debbie May Gaon of Isaya, 19 years of age, sponsored by LTE Concrete Solutions Incorporated. Pleasant afternoon. 
afternoon to each and everyone. This is Valerie Flores Pauline, 21 years of age, sponsored by Fabro Construction. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Standing in front of you is Gio Custodio de la Cruz, 16 years of existence, is sponsored by Universal Leap Philippines. Good afternoon everyone, this is Maricar Fernandez Caviles, 22, is sponsored by St. John Bosco College of Northern Luzon Incorporation. Good afternoon everyone, this is Carmeline Ibay Marquez, 20, is sponsored by pc for me one stop Computer Corporation. Sponsored by VJX Trading. Good afternoon, everyone. This is Regine Katpagan Panit, 18, Toyota La Union. Good afternoon, everyone. I am Shaina Kaila Magpok Ambrosio, 18, sponsored by La Union Electric Company. Good afternoon everyone, I am Shaina Grace Sarangkin Salting, 19, sponsored by Soil Tech Agricultural Products. Good afternoon for each and everyone, this is Justine Maydulay, 17, sponsored by Photon La Union. Roma Chu, 19, sponsored by National Bazaar. Feba Morbinayan, 21, sponsored by E. Madayag Construction. Wow, there you go, our 19 lovely candidates for Miss City of San Fernando 2020. Now, before we uh, begin for the official uh, question and answer portion for our local media partners, let's acknowledge our um, local media partners for Miss City of San Fernando 2020. We have from Ilocos Herald, Mr. Harry Peralta. From Bombo Radio, Mr. Elmer Tubiera. From Pageant and Events Blogger, Mr. Erwin Bautista. A Potty Potty Channel Event Vlogger, Mr. Manuel Flores. From DZAG Radio Pilipinas Ago, we have Ms. Antoniette Lingsit, Mr. Glenn Caballero, and Mr. Ireneo Mercado. From MyFM Communication, Ms. Brenda Villanueva. From Philippine Information Agency Region 1, we have Ms. Joanne Dilim and Mr. Roland Nawe. From DZSO, Bombo Radio Philippines La Union, Mr. Martin John Martin. From Action Radio, Mr. Joshua Saidoken. So um, now that you have physically seen our candidates, now is your chance to discover their
wit and personality as we open the floor to you guys to ask questions for your chosen candidates. So here's how we're gonna do it, okay? Um, first is uh, you raise your hand. You introduce yourselves and then where are you from? And then second, indicate the number, candidate number of the um, candidate na gusto niyong pagtanungan ng inyong questions. Okay? So who wants to start this first round of questions? The floor is open for any questions sa ating mga lovely candidates. Ah, we have one from Anna. Please come in front sa ating uh, microphone to ask your questions, please. Good afternoon, candidates. Um, I am Brenda Villanueva from Mayatan Communication. And this question goes to contestant number five. Contestant number five, sponsored by JJR Construction. Are you feeling, what are you feeling, what are you feeling today? Are you feeling nervous or what? A little bit, but I'm so very happy for tonight for being here at, as, a, um, as a candidate in the City Fiesta. Thank you. Okay, so here's your question. What makes you different from the other girls competing today? Thank you for that wonderful question. Where... Well, we have different kind of beauty. We have different kind of unique. Uh, we are unique in our own way, and also we have different capability, ability also. But what I'm different in the other candidate is as a is I am a goal oriented person. I didn't stop. Well, unless if my dream is done, but because failure is everywhere. Failure is anywhere because failure is not a temp permanent experience, we should rise up and get up and to be a better person and changing and growing is what makes you win. Thank you. Okay, thank you for the one. Thank you, Thanks. candidate number five. That's a very good round. Huh? Thank you for reminding us that we, we can use our uniqueness to accomplish our goals in life. Okay, who wants to go next? Good afternoon. My question is, oh, by the way, I'm Joshua Saidukan from Action Radio. My question is, goes to candidate number 10. Candidate number 10, sponsored by Universal Leaf Philippines. Okay, how are you, candidate number 10? I'm feeling alright, but I'm still feeling, I'm still not feeling well due to this minoria, but I can manage it. Okay, <laughs> I heard you are the youngest and you are only yeah. 16. What do you think is your edge to the other candidates? For, uh, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for that question. As the youngest candidate, it's challenging in my part. And that that thing is what keeps me to push myself to, be, to do better and be better. And my edge for me is that I'm still young and can explore more things. And with that, I the passion inside me keeps burning. And I'm sure, I'm pretty sure that that is what will make me successful. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you, Action Radio, for that question. And thank you, candidate number 10. Okay, good afternoon, ladies. My question is, I'm supposed also to ask number 10, but she's already, she already was called, so I'm gonna ask the other candidates. Number four, number 11, number 12, number 13, and number 15. Four, 11, 12, 13, and 15. Oh, yeah. okay, this is going to be interesting. My question is, since, as you know, dati pa ako ko kayo silang nakikita sa pageantry, so what inspires you to pursue pageantry even though you already had experience in previous other municipality pageant? Bakit nyo pinagpapatuloy? Ano yung pinaglalaban nyo? Sino yung inspirasyon nyo? Sige, let's start with candidate number four. Thank you. Joining in beauty pageants made me um, more um, de to develop my 
um, confidence. And of course, as I also, uh, I will, I want to use my advocacy in promoting such um, pageants because as a public administration student, um, um, it is close to my heart to help um, the less fortunate families and to serve people here in our city. Thank you. Candidate number 11. Um, we join pageants. Can I hold this? We join pageants not only for ourselves because we carry advocacies, because we want our municipalities or cities to become a better place, not only sharing our wit and beauty, but because we want to be together and make our city to become beautiful. That would be all. Thank you. Thank you, candidate number uh, 11. Hawakon na lang yung mic para mas comfortable. Candidate number 12. I join beauty pageant to achieve achievement and fulfillment. I joined Miss City of San Fernando because this is my dream, my passion, and this is what I want to be. Thank you. Thank you. Candidate number 13. Well, I believe in the saying that if we may encounter defeat, we should always remember that we are not defeated. I, um, I always experience being failed in pageantry, but I always try my best to put myself into courage and determination so that I can show myself and my advocacy to the community and also to help the people I love and the people in needs. Thank you. Thank you. And lastly, but not the least, candidate number 15. So good afternoon, everyone. As a beauty queen with a purpose, I joined pageant because I want to help my fellow youth by pursuing my advocacy, which is to keep them motivated by the means of education. Because I believe that education is our key to the brighter future. And education leads us in the different destination of success. And I want to help my fellow youth because I believe that we, the youth, are the still hope of our country. Thank you. Nice. Thank you, candidate number 15. Thank you, so, ladies. And just keep on pursuing your dreams because just like, um, si Davina, who's our current uh, Miss La Union, had failed twice. But on the third try, she did claim the crown. So good luck, ladies. Thank you, Mr. Erwin, for the question. Diba, upon hearing their answers, diba, meron, kinukento nila meron silang mga personal advocacy. So definitely, we have something to look forward to. Even though, um, although, of course, uh, only one will be crowned as Miss City of San Fernando. Ano? But it's very good. Na 20, 19 kayong nandito and I know na 19 advocacies will push through in the future. Okay, who wants to go next? Please uh, go in front. Don't be shy. Go in front, uh, introduce yourself and ask your question to our candidates. Uh, representative of BJX Trading. Number 13. I'm Mr. Bautista sponsoring BJX Trading. So I want that she will be the one to have his op opinion regarding my question. Okay, candidate number 13. Uh, you know that our country facing major problems, specifically rice shortage, by, uh, coronavirus, and ASF. If you know about ASF, African swine flu. Yes. yes. Okay, very good. <laughs> if you will be happen to be the Miss San Fernando, and the problem should not be mang mangyari dito sa atin, ano ang gagawin mo to help our uh, executives, officers, for the city of San Fernando and La Union. Well, my plan is that I am an advocate of environmental awareness because I believe that environment is very essential to us Filipinos because we use our environment for progress. So we should protect our environment 
to help the agriculture also, we should plant trees, plant um, rice, and to, for us to be more productive. And especially, we must clean our surroundings for us to avoid viruses. That's all. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you to our candidate sponsor and thank you candidate number 13. So, we also encourage our candidate sponsors to ask questions because this is your uh, chance to meet them and get to know their personality, get to know how, uh, yes, get to know and get to be connected with our candidates. So, we encourage sponsors and we encourage media partners as well. Any other uh, questions? Uh, yes, sir. All right. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, Mayor Al, Vice Chari. Palakpakan naman natin natin mga leaders, mga kaibigan, councillors. Maganda nga po. Ladies, congratulations. Siya ka ni Ralph Gale. May isa nga kailian yung eh. Former Kapamilya and Kapuso Regional TV. Now with Live Media Online. All right. This goes to Toladak Manik, kapsat tayo nga, Erwin. Step forward, ladies who are newbies, like your first-timers, man. Please step forward so that we would know who are our first-timers. First-timers in Miss San Fernando. Uh, wow. Oh, we have a lot. <laughs> Dami. Ah, sino po hindi first-time? Oh, first-time na lang po sa pageant. All right. If I may get to eliminate. First timers in pageant. So we have number two, 17 and 18. Tama ba? All right. Ladies, congratulations for making it for pageants like this, right? This will be a great platform. Tidamag ko man lang What for you, ladies, 2, 17 and 18, will make you San Fernando ay ayatin ka? Anyone? Start with uh, candidate number two. Um, gusto ko pong maging City of San Fernando and kaya po ako sumali sa beauty pageant para din po sa mga nagda-down sa akin and gusto ko pong ilabas yung sarili ko sa comfort zone ko. Um, kaya po ako sumali ng beauty pageant para po sa mga taong nandyan para sa akin at nag-encourage nag sa akin na lumabas ako sa comfort zone ko. Ang personality ko po kasi is Mahiyain and now I think nakalabas na po ako dun sa mahiyain na part ko ngayon. And tingin ko po, manalo o matalo, panalo pa rin po ako kasi na-prove ko na kaya ko. Thank you. Thank you. Candidate number two. Good afternoon po. Um, as a Miss of San Fernando, you should be confident of who you are. And you should help other people overcome their fear and also uh, you should help yourself overcome your fear and um, you should be the type of person who has an open mind, open heart and live with the sense of generosity. Thank you. Hello, good, good afternoon everyone. Um, being Miss San Fernando, can you repeat the question sir? Para king ka, sweetheart. Bakit ang San Fernando ay ayaten ka? What dahil ang San Fernando ay ay ayaten ka dahil um, tayo ay Apay tayo ayaten tayo to shoot tayo San Fernando. Lalo tata, we have our good leaders with us. Tulad nga po ng sabi ninyo sir, meron po tayong mga magagaling at um, experienceadong mga leaders na sila ang nag uh, naglilid sa atin sa para sa magandang kinabukasan sa ating buhay at para sa ating lugar. Yun lamang po. Thank you so much, candidates. And thank you, sir, for your question. Any more questions? Ah, yes, ma'am. Hello, good afternoon, ladies. Congratulations for making this far. Um, this is Atinami from Philippine Information Agency. So March is, of course, National Women's Month, right? So this question goes to number 14 and number 16. All right, so 
Ang tanong ni Ate Nami in line with the Women's Month celebration, who is the female personality that you admire aside from your mother? This time, let's start with number 16. Good afternoon, everyone. The person that I admire and serve as inspiration for me is Catriona Gray because she is someone should, who should be admired for she have many advocacies that are helping to our country. She have brought honor to our country and is continuously um, being a girl who is living with a purpose. Thank you. Thank you. Candidate number 16. Um, actually, my answer is the same with number 16. My um, female... What is again, mom? My female personality. My, my female personality, the Catriona Gray. Because she is the person who is a lot of purpose. She has a lot of advocacies. And I believe that she's the type of a person who is open-minded. And also she's a girl that open heart. And she also lives with a sense of generosity. Thank you. Thank you, ladies. And thank you, Mam Ma Nami from Philippine Information Agency. Shout out to Miss Universe, Catriona Gray. Ah, sir. Uh, hello, name bang nga malam tayo amin apo. Siak ni Manuel Flores. Uh, may isang passion kan pageant uh, vlogger. So, Kinima number 16. Number 16. Yes. So, alam natin si Catriona Gray ay ang tawag sa walk niya is Lava Walk. Kung ikaw, ano ang tawag mo sa walk mo? So, if I were to make a my own walk, I would do it as a purposive walk because oh. I do this, I do pageants for purpose. Yes, very nice. So, by then, can you show your walk oh, with okay. us? <laughs> okay. Uh, music, music, please. Let's witness the purposive walk <laughs> of candidate number 16. A walk with a purpose. Thank you. Thank you, Sir Manuel, and thank you, candidate number 16. Wow, ganda, no? Purposive walk. Any more uh, questions from the media, from our candidate sponsors? Perhaps um, ang one of the members from our city council could also ask Questions? Okay, Sir Maki. Hello, good afternoon. So, from the Sangunian, <laughs> Panglansod. So, um, can I pick number one? Number And number 19. Number one and 19. So, good afternoon. So, we know that this month is the Women's Month. So, this is my question. What do you think you can do to empower yourself as a woman and to empower other women too. I repeat, what you can do to what do you think you can do to empower yourself as a woman and to empower other women too? Let's start with candidate number one. By empowering myself as joining pageants, I joined this pageant to have a sense of achievement and fulfillment. Likewise, the excitement I may experience and the memories I make here are beyond measure in worth for widening my social horizon and understanding of people. And I will encourage the youth or, and the women to join pageants for them to engage in the different social issues and problems in our society because the answers that uh, the answers the candidate gives serve as pieces of good as good advice to the concerned public thank you Paul. thank you candidate number one so just like candidate number one it is um, pageantry is also a way for me to 
empower myself because through this I am able to, to show the purpose that I'm doing and the advocacy that I have that is self-awareness and with that I am not only empowering women but also I am empowering my co-youth and other people that is feeling down to themselves because I believe that with having self-awareness we can have the confidence within us and with having the confidence we can be able to make ourselves or we can have our success toward the paths that we are tracking and uh, also I am doing myself not only just through pageantry but I am um, I am pursuing, I am so open to pursuing my education because with that, having my education and being able to um, being able to do good with my career that I'm tracking and I will be able to empower other person by being, making myself as a role model and using my voice, that would be all, thank you. Very well said ladies, thank you very much. Ah, yeah. Yes, sir. Ah, go, ma. Yes, ma. Good afternoon to everyone. I'm Mrs. Helen Fabro of Fabro Construction. Uh, may I ask the same quest question to my candidate, uh, Fabro Construction? Thank you very much. Candidate number nine. Candidate number nine. Thank you. Same question, according to Mrs. Fabro. Okay, so um, this month we're celebrating the Women's Month, and as a youth and as a candidate for the Miss City of San Fernando, I do believe that I can empower women as well through this pageant, because I stand here in front of you with an advocacy, not just because of the physical appearance that I have, but also to represent myself, my family, the city, and of course, my creator, the Lord Jesus Christ. And now, I do believe that every woman should be empowered, not just by the things or by the words of every person, but most especially by the words of wisdom that comes from the Bible. Most of the women of today are very attached to social media, technologies, and other um, uh, other new inventions, but now I encourage every woman, I encourage every one of us to look to the most primary need that we must have, and that is our spiritual life. We should stand not just because we are beautiful, but we should stand because we have faith, and we should be a role model to our future children. That's all, and I thank you. Thank you, candidate number nine. Up next is Sir uh, Martin from Bomboraggio. Yes, po, good afternoon to everyone. I'm John Martin of Bomboraggio La Union. And my question goes to uh, candidate number six and eight. Candidate number six and eight. My question would be, uh, what will be your greatest contribution to the city of San Fernando? Let's start with candidate number eight. I think my greatest contribution would be to be a role model because um, uh, I just uh, started joining pageants um, last year because it made me, um, the other girls inspired me to, be, to also be a role model. And I think that would be my greatest contribution also, to inspire others just like how they inspired me. Thank you. Thank you. My greatest contribution I might be given to this city is that we should be proud of what we have, the culture we have here in La Union, in the city of San Fernando, the tourism, uh, the tourist spot that we have, we should be proud that we have them. Because if we don't have them, we, we won't be able to feature the beauty of the city of San Fernando. And that will be all. Thank you. Nice, about, nice hearing about your contributions, lady. Thank you. Oh, another question from Sir Erwin Bautista. Since nobody wants to ask question, they are going to ask me to ask question to the girls who hasn't been called yet. Sino yung mga girls na hindi pa po siya lang natanong? To the candidates na hindi pa nakakasagot ng uh, questions. Adalawa na lang kayo. 
Okay, my question is, since I'm part of the Association of Tourism Industries and Networks in La Union, my question is, describe your personality through a specific tourism site in the city. For example, I am Botanical Garden because I am high, ganun, and I'm beautiful. Wow, that's a very interesting question. <laughs> Can you describe a specific tourism site in the city using your personality? You, you describe your personality, kung sino ka, through a specific tourism site. Ganun. Okay, are you ready? Candidate number three. For me, I will be a Baxil Ridge from Baxil because I believe that Baxil Ridge is um, one of a tourist spot um, because it is a um, place where wars came be, did and I think Baxil Ridge is our pride of our community. Thank you. Candidate number three would be Baxil Ridge. How about candidate number seven? For me, the Poro Point Bay Walk, as you can see, it is the one of the most beautiful places here in San Fernando. I describe it as a beautiful, simple, and most importantly is... Simple and... Amazing. That would be all. Thank you. Thank you, candidate number three and candidate number seven. It's a very nice question. Perhaps other members of our city council would like to ask our candidates a question. Ah, sir. Good afternoon, ladies. Good afternoon, our, uh, our city government officials. My question to number 13 is... Candidate number 13. Uh, this month is uh, Fire Prevention Month. Uh, the most common fire that uh, happened here in the city is grass or forest fire. What are, what are your message for the people's city to prevent this uh, environment issue. As an advocate of environmental awareness, I want to, a, to implement my advocacy to the community by the aid of five R's, which is reduce, reuse, recycle, rethink, and respect. We should be more aware and be responsible to our action within our environment for us to keep it protected and safe and to avoid this kind of disaster. Thank you. Uh, thank you, number 13. Thank you, no candidate number 13. And thank you, sir, for that question. Anybody else who would uh, want to get to know more our candidates through asking questions? Okay, I was informed this will be this is going to be um, our last two questions. Okay, so yung mga hindi pa na candidate sponsors, um, major sponsors, and uh, members from the local media. Uh, na imbaga malem, so sana hindi kayo may stress sa tanong <laughs> How do you cope with the pressure or stress na nga during the process, especially during interviews? Uh, candidate number 3, 8, and 18. Thank 3, you. 8, and 18. Let's go with candidate number 18 first. I cope up with my, what do you call that? Stress. Oh, and friends. pressure. Yeah. Um, Sorry. Uh. <laughs> Can you repeat it again, ma'am, please? Yeah, oh, oh. How do you cope with the pressure or stress during the process, especially during interviews? Yung process po ng pagsali ninyo as Miss City of San Fernando. 
to be honest, uh, parang isinasawa lang bahala ko lang yung kaba ko. Kahit na feeling ko, sobrang, just like this, nanginginig na ako. Um, dinataan ko na lang sa um, happy thoughts para hindi masyadong ma-pressure. Yun lamang po. Um, can you please repeat the question? Thank you. Uh, yeah. How do you cope with the pressure during the process or especially during interviews? Well, to be honest, um, I think that all of us are um, pressured and it, this one, um, um, like people asking questions from the candidates are very intimidating. But I think that what helps me is that I, th I will think to myself that I am brave and that I am confident enough to answer the questions being asked from me. Thank you. Thank you, candidate number eight. To cope up with my pressure and stress, I believe in God because I am Christ-centered as a Louisian and I believe that through God we can do all things and um, enjoying the moment because experience what we gain is most... Um, successful. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, ladies. And thank you, ma'am, for that question. Okay, ito na yung last question. So, kung sino hindi pa nakatanong na gustong uh, mag-ask ng question, this will be, this is going to be the last question. ang nagdi-discuss ang ating council nang gusto nilang itanong <laughs> Last one question sa ating mga candidates Ah from meron ba kay ating uh, honorable city mayor Alf Ortega <laughs> Ah, from the department heads. Mukhang may namumuong tanong kay Sir Bricks ngayon. Mukhang may ano, na-formulate siyang question. Sige Sir Bricks, let's let's try and ano. <laughs> from all other city department heads, meron po ba? Um, Telma? Good afternoon. I want to ask number one, nine, sixteen, nineteen. Nineteen. Lapat. Okay. Sulitin na natin. Huling tanong na eh. Uh, being a beauty uh, uh, contestant. So, in achieving the goal of the city to make it... Uh, uh, clean, beautiful, and peaceful. Uh, how are you going to? Uh, how are you going to contribute? And what are you going to contribute towards the achieve achievement of the, that goal of the city? How and what are you going to contribute in making our people's city clean, beautiful, and uh, peaceful? As a social media inf influencer, um, I will post into social media the beautiful spots in La Union. I will also do vlog because I started doing vlog. And then um, I have an advocacy which is a clean and green environment. I will use my voice to influence the youth. And then without our bountiful natural resources, the next generation will use the environment then then I will encourage them to um, clean our environment because the city of San Fernando is a safety, safety place wherein people um, are lovable, people are generous. Then that would be all. Thank you. Well, for me, to be able for us to have a clean, 
peaceful and beautiful city of San Fernando. As a youth, I will participate to different kinds of activities that would make our environment clean and green. And second, to make it beautiful, I will going to post it in my social media account since I am a millennial and we are known as tech savvy. I will going to um, feature different tourist destinations of San Fernando so that I can share it to my friends, not just here in the Philippines, but also abro abroad. And the third one is to make it peaceful. As a Christian, we conduct Bible studies and help those people who are really in need. And I'm also a psychology student. I can use that to promote mental health awareness since it was always given uh, less attention for the past years. That's all and I thank you. Again, good afternoon, each and everyone. If I were to contribute something to the city of San Fernando as a candidate for it to be clean, beautiful, and peaceful, I would use my advocacy, which is empowering the youth for the uh, protection and salvation of the environment. I would use my voice to influence and motivate the youth, the youth for them to be more involved in protecting our environment most especially the city of San Fernando. And I think that advocacy would make me the most memorable candidate or maybe the most me memorable city of San Fernando 2020. Thank you. Lastly, candidate number 19. Well, the easiest and the fastest way, the most convenient way would be, yes, what, how to... Uh, and, uh? The easiest way would be just like how they say it is through social media because we all know that social media is almost very known to all of us, most especially that we are now millennial, and uh, that I will. And the best way would be that I will use myself as a role model. I will do it. I will show to the youth and to other people that it is. It will be, it, we can make our community better if we will have the unity within us, if we know how to help each other and lay a help upon to each other because through that, we can make our community, we can make the city of San Fernando a beautiful and a peaceful place to be and that will be all. Thank you. Thank you very much, candidates number 19, 16, number 10, and number 1. You can, uh, number 9. You can now uh, go back to your places. So, let's have one last look sa ating press presentation ng ating lovely candidates. Palakpakan naman natin sila for a job. Well done. Thank you very much. And wag po natin kakalimutan, abangan po natin on March 20. Magkakaroon tayo ng bagong Miss City of San Fernando 2020. Palakpakan po muna natin ulit sila. There you have it, the press presentation and initial public appearance of the 19 lovely candidates of Miss City of San Fernando La Union. On behalf of the whole city government of San Fernando La Union, we would like to thank each and every one of us for joining us today on this momentous celebration. This has been your host, Austin Miguel Oged. Have a good evening, San Fernando Ay Ayatenka. Thank you so much. <laughs>